welcome back. Today is a new type of video that I've not done yet. Um, I've done soap based comparison videos before, but they're usually part one, part two. But today I'm going to be <clears throat> comparing Talbot Shavings version one base in the Holland Glen scent. This came out last year and they're just released version two base in the scent Buttery Brook. Both scents are very, uh, very similar. They're both like a fougere, like a very green, natural smelling um, soap. This one is very swampy, very strong, probably the strongest scent that I own. This one is similar, but it's uh, it's still got the green in there, but it's less swampy and it's a little more kind of a citrus bite to it. So um, this is probably more user friendly uh, scent, but um, they're both loved. But um, the thing I've heard most about as far, in terms of performance difference is that the version two base has a slightly different post shave feel um, and, and, and that that it's better, like a slightly better. And the only thing I can figure out for, you know, for that, as far as the ingredients go, is that the ingredients list is about the same, except the um, version one base has coconut milk in it. And version two does not have coconut milk. It has marshmallow root, sorry. Uh, marshmallow root is known for, to be a, an, to be included in a lot of uh, cosmetic products and it's a skin softener. So my guess is that the marshmallow root works with the shea butter to soften your face. So that would probably explain why the post shave feel is supposedly better, but we'll find out today. So, um, you know, I'm going to shave one side of my face with version one here. And after I'm done with that shave, I'll do this one. I'll talk about the scent as I'm shaving with either one of them because Holland Glen was actually released in the version two base, but it's very small release. It was like a test really release. And, uh, but this is the one that was, uh, released last year. I think there were 50 made. So there's probably about 60 of these around in both bases. Um, there were a hundred of these. It was a, it was a wider release. So it was a little easier for me to get. Um, just a little word about the artisan himself. He is not a full-time, this is not his full-time gig. It's a hobby. So he does maybe three or four releases a year and sometimes does these little small like, collaborations with other uh, people like, uh, Katie's Bubbles, he's he's collaborated with Katie's Bubbles to make an aftershave for him twice. One was for a uh, wet shavers meetup last year, I think it was in November, and he did it again for a small group release, which was, I think there were about 20. So, um, never does anything too huge. I think the 100 release was his biggest uh, one yet. But the, um, there's some controversy surrounding Talbot just because people get mad that they can't get it and it's hard to get. And... It, you know, this is the first one that I was able to get directly from the artisan. It's my fourth one, and I've had to trade or buy the other ones. Um, one was gifted to me. A prototype for one of them was given to me. That was an awesome gift. Um, really thankful for that. But I've had to get really lucky for the other ones. So, you know, you just have to be behind the eight ball and get lucky sometimes. And, you know, it, this is not his full-time gig, so we, we don't have any right to be angry at him for, you know, just sharing his uh, ability to make awesome soap with us. And being the hobbyist that he is, so he's just doing what he likes to do for fun. And and another cool thing is that he donates a portion of the proceeds to Trust for Public Land. So it's not about profit for him; it's fun. He probably breaks even on these because they're you know these aren't expensive. Uh, the the first year they were he sold soaps; they were twelve dollars plus shipping. Now they're fifteen plus shipping, so it's not that big of an increase. He's probably not really making anything other than reimbursement and then his donations. So. Enough about that. Let's get the uh, contest on their way. I'll see you then. All right. Shave number one. Left side of my face with Holland Glen, the version one base. I've only used this maybe, this might be on my second time using it. Um, I have to be in the mood for it. It's very much a, a, a deep green springtime scent. But this scent is very, very swampy, very green in your face. I give it about a nine on scent strength. Very, very high up there. It's not for everyone. Actually, when I first smelled it, I was like, man, I don't, I don't know if I like this. And it was the first tablet soap that I got. So I was kind of disappointed. So like, man, I finally got one and now I don't like it. So I let it sit with me for a while. I think I, I think I had this soap for about two weeks before I actually used it. And it's grown on me a lot. It's very natural smelling I mean, to my nose, very green. It is not, you know, most frigiers are, or in terms of men's fragrances, frigiers are like a cologne type green. This is not like that. This is, you're out in the woods, 
after a big rain and the humidity is rising, you smell all the green stuff that's uh, you know activated by all that rain and humidity. So, and it uh, it gets its point across. <laughs> he um, most of his actual releases um, to the public, not the private ones so much, but um, are based on locations that he's from. You know, he, he's very much an outdoors outdoorsy like hiker guy. So. Chad likes to capture places that he holds dear to himself. Um, you know, he did all Iliahi Ridge, which is an area in Hawaii. It's a sandalwood. I really want that one, and I've never been able to get it. Um, this one is an mostly, uh, you know, I've already explained that one. And then Buttery Brook is a, a brook that he played at, uh, played around when he was a kid. Um, he had one based on his grandmother where she lives. I think she's from um, Ireland or something maybe. I'm not sure. His last name is Irish. I'll have to, I'll have to come back and explain that. One. I think it's called Inchcombe. It's probably a little better to use a badger knot, at least a small badger knot, because they retain water. Gosh, um, that's the one thing I don't like about synthetics, that water just drips out. But I badgers tend to kind of overuse soap and are soap hogs, so... And these are these are three ounce containers, or three ounces of soap in it. Like it's a six ounce container, five or six ounce. So I don't want these to be used up too quickly, and I'm not going to use a badger with them. So I'll be using the synthetic. I'm using the Rockwell 6C on setting four for the first pass, and with a Gillette Silver Blue blade. So here we go. It's like butter. Straight butter. Talbot is some of the slickest soap on the planet. And I'm not afraid to use higher gaps with them. It is about as protective of soap as you can find. Be back for the second pass on the left side. Right, pass number two with the number two plate cross grain. And residual slickness, I mean, I can add a little water here, but um, you really don't even have to. It's so slick, you can just, you can shave your whole face in one pass and probably not worry about any razor burn at all. It is the king of slickness. And mind you, this is the first base. It's not even the second one. I can't wait to, uh, in a few minutes to try the second one. I mean, this is just outstanding. No problem whatsoever. Awesome. Be back for volume two, or version two, pass uh, shave number two. All right, back. Um, 12 second load time just like the first one and um, I applied some alum and there was a tiny sting right here and I'm guessing it's because I used setting four and it's looking increasingly like I'm going to have to stop using non-mild razors and settings on razors unless there's a ton of hair this is only three days growth by the way so. and the coverage so far I think I started with a little more water than I did on the first one we some more, but it's uh, going on quite nicely. Version 2, by the way. Buttery Brook. This one's definitely got more of a citrus vibe to it. Um, you could actually even use a citrusy um, fragrance like or like, you know, like a post-shave product, aftershave. Like a lucky tiger or even a lime one, like lime sec panade, you wouldn't it wouldn't be out of place. There's some definitely some kind of a citrus vibe in here going on. Um, if I can find the scent notes, I don't think he released them, but if I can find them, I will put them in the video. Same goes for Holland Glen. I'm just not. I found. Um, I I shaved with some uh, Edison Lake. I just got that one too. I got two towel soaps last week. Amazingly, um, that's my favorite one by far. I'm liking the uh, Buttery Brook scent more and more though. Maybe more than Holland Glen. I can tell this one is 
I mean, it feels almost the same. Maybe the coverage is slightly easier. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because I started with more water. But as you can see, it is also, there we go, lighting. It is also very shiny looking, which is what you want to see in a good lather. No matte look with uh, air bubbles. You're not going to find that here. You can take its water and it's easy to load, easy to put on. Just use your water. This stuff is the slickest I've ever used. It's a little, and it's version one is a nine, nine and a half out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. Not no six out of 10. And that was version one. So let's see how version two performs. It's excellent residual slickness. Um, it might even be, it's at least on par, if not slightly better, as far as I can tell. And you can you can put even more water in this, and it, I mean it makes the lather thinner, but it absolutely does not affect performance. People talk about cushion, and cushion doesn't mean anything. As long as your lather is there and it's not dry and airy, um, which if you use water, you're not going to find in this soap. It's going to protect you. I've had times where my Talbot lather was not thick, like I have it today, because I used more water than. I probably should have, but it did not affect the slickness at all. Did not feel, did not affect how my face feel af felt afterwards. So, but as you can see, it looked really good. So, rinse off, go down the plate two, and uh, get the second pass over with. Talk about the results. All right, apply to alum, and both sides right here is on the you know left and right side of my Adam's apple. They both stung a little bit, and that just means I probably shouldn't use the. Uh, gap four setting or the plate number four setting on the Rockwell probably should have just done two the whole time but other than that I mean it's awesome um, this side feel, definitely feels a little better um, the lather is similar but I feel like this one it's somewhere in between yogurt and sour cream it's very shiny and consistency it reminds me of Barrister's Reserve la um, Reserve Lather whenever it's uh, you get past the gluey consistency and got the water you know, dialed in because it's very thirsty it reminds me a lot of that, and uh, this is just awesome. Look at the uh, the peaks there. It's stable, very shiny. Really like it. Very slick. Can't go wrong with this soap if you can find some. And I mean, it's kind of unobtainium, but people people have it up for trade and for sale all the time. I and mean, you can you can't really go a few weeks without seeing at least one or two pop up. So. Uh, go on the buy sell trades and also subscribe to Talbot's um, Instagram and Facebook. You will get notifications ahead of time of when they're going to do releases. They don't just pop these on you like, uh, say, Bufflehead. Bufflehead gives shorter notice, sometimes no notice at all. And they're similar. Bufflehead's a similar um, situation to Talbot. They are, you know, three or four times a year. It's a hobby bait. It's a hobby. Um, a hobbyist, not really a full time artisan. So he just does, you know, small batches here and there. For fun so uh, very similar situation but um you know just you just, just stay on it try to get some try to get a sample from someone and try it out it's absolutely worth it um, up there this especially the second one it's not much better but it's uh I'm, I'm impressed that he was even able to push it even further so kudos to him hats off to the scent scent's great can't complain anywhere it's just uh it hits everything on all cylinders, it excels at everything, so it's great stuff. Yeah, I think the Edge goes to version two by, you know, slightly, but you can't go wrong with either. And if you have any kind of chance to get either one of them, do it. Don't hesitate just because it's not version two, maybe. So, um, so that, that'll do it for today. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't. If you comment below if you have anything to ask me that you felt I left out of this video um, or what you thought about it. So, until next time. Oh,